This video covers the speaking part of the TOEIC test. In this first section, I will show you a screen with text on it, and you can pause the video to practice speaking it aloud. Afterwards, I will read the text so you can check your pronunciation. In the TOEIC test, you have 45 seconds to read a text aloud, and so you may want to time yourself. With real estate, one of the most important factors is location. The same is true of our nation's public schools. A location that is desirable usually has good public schools because good schools attract families and businesses which drive up real estate prices. In turn, high-priced real estate increases property taxes which help fund public schools which attract more affluent families. Location matters for schools in rural areas where family farms are fading into history and for segregated and impoverished inner city neighborhoods where many businesses have shut down and middle class families have moved away. In the next part of the test you will be asked to describe a picture with as much detail as you can. You will have 30 seconds to prepare and then talk about the picture for 45 seconds. Please pause the video once the photo appears and time yourself as you talk about the image for 45 seconds. You can also practice this with any other pictures or photographs. Just to give you an example about this photo, if I were asked, I would say something like, this is a city scene. In the photo, there is a homeless man using plastic buckets as drums trying to collect donations in a jack-o'-lantern shaped trick-or-treat pail. There are other people in the photo, but no one is interacting with one another and everyone is ignoring the homeless man. It seems to be cool weather because everyone is wearing long sleeves or jackets. Also in the photo are a bus and a police car and lining the street are many newspaper dispensers. In the next part of the test, you will hear a short narrative and then answer three questions. You have 15 seconds to respond to the first two questions and 30 seconds to respond to the final question. Please pause the video after each question to allow yourself time to answer. Imagine that an American marketing firm is doing research in your country. You have agreed to participate in a telephone interview about internet usage. How often do you use the internet? What kind of websites do you visit? Describe your favorite website. In the next part of the test, you will have to answer three questions based on information provided. You will have 30 seconds to read the information before the questions begin. You have 15 seconds to respond to the first two and 30 seconds for the final question. Please pause the video after each question to allow yourself time to answer. Hello, I'm calling for some information about the language class sign-up day. I was hoping you could help me. First question, could you tell me what is the date that I need to be there to sign up? Second question, what are the fees for the classes? third question. Thank you. And can you tell me what classes are offered? In the next part of the test, you will be given a problem and asked to come up with a solution. You will have 30 seconds to prepare and then 60 seconds to speak. In your response, be sure to show that you recognize the problem and propose a way to resolve it. Hi, I'm Dana Jones. I came in two hours ago and rented a 2012 Ford car. I needed it for the week because my other car is in the repair shop. Anyway, I was driving it down the highway and it started making weird noises. Finally, it just stopped. I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but it won't crank. Right now, I'm at 123 Street and I don't know what to do. I paid extra for insurance. Will you send a replacement car or... I don't know what to do. Please call me at 
in this final part of the test, you will give your opinion about a specific topic. Be sure to say as much as you can in the time allowed. You have 15 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to speak. Please pause the video after hearing the narrative to allow yourself time to speak. Some people have jobs that pay a high salary, but they do not get a lot of time off of work. Others have jobs that pay a lower salary, but they get many vacation days. Which type of job would you prefer and why? Thank you.